Hello everybody and welcome to Besiege. This is a very different kind of a game. It's a game which allows you to create a different vehicle, which can be combined with a weapon, to conquer different areas within a map. There are different levels and you have to unlock different areas and different zones by conquering each place. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start in, well, the starting place where we have to go to, which is called Ypsilon. Let's just find this place. Ypsilon is here. So click on that and we need to start at level one. It does say conquered because I was already trying this out, but we're going to start from the beginning with a brand new machine. So we have a totally blank canvas here and we're going to be able to create our own vehicle to destroy this little house, little farm. Um, and we can take our vehicle into the next level and keep building on it and keep advancing it every time. Uh, so we're going to start with the bare minimum here. This is our frame. So I think it's going to be quite a unique design. I'm going to, well, I'm going to kind of go by this design here, which they've put on the how to build page. We don't need that tutorial because I've already played it a bit and it is a fantastic game, very addictive. Um, so got to be careful about this. I could be here for hours on end. I'll try and keep the video not too short, but you know, um, a decent length. Keep it quite entertaining. So that's the front of our siege vehicle. And we're going to, uh, I think we should probably make it a bit longer at the back than it is at the front, just to make it a bit unique. So we're using the wooden blocks here to build each section. And we might have to reinforce it with braces. If we put a brace across there and a brace across there as well, it adds a bit of strength to it. We could also do the same thing on the other side. Uh, so if we brace it there and brace it here, We've now got quite a substantial frame. We could also do front to back as well. But first of all, we do need to add some wheels. So before we do any more braces, we do need to sort this out. Plus we need to have some steering. I was wondering, I think it should be four wheel drive. We'll stick with four wheel drive, but actually I'll remove that back wheel because maybe it'd be better to have a bit of, um, I suppose, have it a bit wider at the back, just to make it a bit unique. This is our steering hinge just here, and again there. It's a risk of being quite wide, but still <laughs> quite a fun design. So as you can see, it's going to be pretty stable, but I think we are going to have to brace this corner here and this corner here, otherwise it could collapse. And I suppose we could brace some other sections as well. Like there, um, and across there. And not only does it add strength, but it adds styling as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing this in action. Um, we don't have any weapons yet. We don't need weapons for this first step. So let's press play, and we will drive this scary thing. That is kind of weird. Floor it. Oh, yes, look at that. 37 blocks used. Success. And the zone is conquered. Let's move on to number two. This is where we can, uh, again, extend the creativity skills which are gonna be involved here. We need to destroy the windmill. And to do this, we may well need a weapon. Do we get weapons? I think we do. Yes, we do. Um, so, I don't really know what to go for. Maybe a circular saw. <laughs> um, but there was one thing I didn't like about the previous time. Just then, the wheels are too low. The whole, uh, well, I suppose you could call it a machine, it's sitting too low. So I think if we erase these wheels and actually put the frame underneath, it might look a bit better. I'll erase each of these braces as well. All of this. Feels like we're wasting time here, but actually, this is going to be good, I'm hoping. So as for the blocks, I think if we put it down from here, 
and then out from there and probably actually yeah if we put a larger block then it'll be sticking out further and then from there we'll put the hinge it should be quite an interesting design again though it is going to have to be braced otherwise these could just break So we'll brace it there. Uh, we may have to brace it right across the back. Not a bad idea. And I don't think, oh yeah, we can. We can brace it there as well. That's pretty good. Uh, so we're gonna put the wheels back on. We can choose from many different wheels here. A large wheel, a large unpowered wheel. So these ones must be powered. Lots of strength in those. And at the front, I think we're gonna keep a, a motor wheel but it doesn't want to be too big. Although, we might have to stick with the same design here. Actually, now what we'll do is we'll put the uh, the same design at the front. So it needs to go down a, a little bit here. Put its second bit in, so we've got a bit of uh, clearance. And it can come out there. And then hopefully, this is gonna look pretty good. Right, so we're definitely uh, we're definitely getting some uh, shapes to this machine. It looks quite nice. This is going to be bracing as well. Otherwise, there could be a bit of collapsing going on here. Bearing in mind, each level gets harder, so we do need to be very careful here. I think I put that to the back, but it's the front. There we go. And yeah, we'll put that brace there. We'll duplicate that design over here. It needs to be very strong. Thing is though, if you're trying to do this as a challenge, you want to be using as few blocks as possible. But I'm doing it for strength and reliability. I'm happy with that. However, we are definitely lacking a weapon. We're going to build a weapon. We'll build it from the center, leaning to the front. And how should it go? Probably, um, Taller at the front, I would say. We need strength. Strength is very important. So this is totally trial and error. This may totally fail. Build that onto the side with this side piece here. That will need bracing, but first of all, we're gonna apply the weapon, which is going to be the circular saw, and actually a wooden pole. <laughs> Could be the first place to put it. Or we could put two on here. That could be quite a fun design. Yes, we will put two circular saws on. Because one is never enough. Aha, uh -huh, there is not enough space for it. So instead, I think what I'll do is I'll put that there. Join that together. Then put the wooden pole on here. And we could have the same issue. But I'm just going to try again. We do indeed have the same issue. So, it's clearly the piece behind which is at fault. This time I'm going to just apply one wooden pole and probably not go totally crazy with that. Okay, I'm not I'm not totally convinced about why this isn't working. Okay, that's weird. Oh, look at that metal blade. It's like a slicing machine. Or it is a slicing machine. Okay, we'll go with the metal blade first of all, but I want to build up from it. I still want to keep the... Um... That looks ridiculous. That looks totally ridiculous. Sorry, I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to put this back in, and we could choose a different weapon. A drill. That it looks stupid. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to go with the metal blade, just to start off with. I have used the circular saw before, so I don't know what's so wrong there. Just in the way, for some reason. Still, I'll brace this up and then we'll give it a go. Hopefully it's gonna go well. Uh, 
There we go. Such a weird design. Weird, but pretty amazing. Let's go for it. We'll pull that to the ground, otherwise it's gonna break. Are you ready, windmill? Here we come. Oh great, my wheels are broken. Sorry, chickens. I'm sorry. Yeah, these back wheels are awful. And my blade isn't good enough. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, those back wheels are terrible. Okay, back to the drawing board. We're going to erase the back wheels. We're going to go back to the standard wheels because I think for this stage they're going to be better. Much better. It's just too heavy for them. It is so heavy. Right, okay. Uh, this is what I love about this game. It, you've got to get it right. The physics are incredible. Uh, and obviously, looking at this, it is just ridiculously heavy, especially with all these braces. So, we need to um, think again about this. We could even put jockey wheels in. Right, I've just done a little bit off screen because I have just reinforced the chassis. So now the steering does not break as soon as you try and use it. It's much more substantial. Um, so that's absolutely fantastic. However, I just feel the need to be putting a bit of a better weapon up here. Something like that. That's just incredible. We'll put the circular saw there. Oh, look at this. It looks crazy. How does it work? Oh, yes. Look at that. Right. Next zone. We're getting somewhere. Now, what do we need to do here? Ah, we need to be as small as possible because we have got mines. I'm going to go for it straight away without designing anything. I'm quite confident in my design, although there isn't much weight on the rear wheels, which are steering. So we must be careful. Could break that axle. The sheep do pop, by the way, if you run over them, so I'm sorry, sheep. Go away, sheep. He went underneath me. I can see a mine directly in front of us. When, oh, if only we had... Sorry, sheep. If there's more weight on here, the steering would be better. We are dangerously close to that mine. Oh, dear. They're all exploding as well, and we've just exploded too. Lovely. Let's try again. But first, actually, I'm, I'm going to put some weight on. And possibly some armour as well. Armour is good, especially when fighting. That looks silly. Um, there we go. That's good. And I've just realised there's no brace up here. There is nothing at all supporting the circular saw. That is not good. We need to support it, otherwise it's going to break. Okay, we have extra strength. But we have no weight on the back. How can we apply weight to the back of here? So many different things. Um, I suppose we could put a weapon on the back as well. We could do. I think what I'll do is I'll put a block on here, a block on here, and then put our blades, the famous blades, on the back as well. Love them. There we go. Uh, that looks pretty amazing. It's like an aeroplane. It's going to take off. We mustn't crash too hard because otherwise we're going to damage this thing. The best way of getting into there, though, there's just so many mines about. It's, it's going to be quite tough. We could just floor it, I suppose. But then there's that one right there. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Oh, hang on, there is an opening here. We could just drive in. My saw should destroy the tree. Oh, almost. That could have gone so much better. This time we're going to go round the other way. 
there still isn't enough weight on the wheels. We could make it all wheel steer. That would be interesting. There is a mine there. There is a mine right there. And I'm just randomly crashing into stuff. Yes. I think we're okay with the four wheel drive, or actually six wheel drive. But the steering isn't good enough and I've just broken it. And there is a mine and boom. Yes, we're going to upgrade it. We're going to turn this thing into four wheel steer. I think four wheel steer will be fun. So that is what we're going to do. Here's a hinge. Here's a hinge. Uh, we could also be weird about this and have different wheels, but I think just for this, we're going to stick with this. Double. Because why not? Why not have double? That is weird. It's too heavy at the front. Far too heavy at the front. We're driving out of the zone. Come on, I need to at least get through this stage. Admittedly, with those wheels in the middle, it is becoming quite hard to steer. In fact, so hard, I'm going to have to rethink this. It's become a little bit too big. Especially as I have actually put the steering joints on back to front. No wonder it doesn't work properly. Why do the sheep follow me, waiting to be exploded? Yep. The test of physics is incredible. So I think we've now established this thing is overweight by quite a long way. We're gonna have to get rid of that, unfortunately. Just temporarily, while I try and sort this thing out. Um, it is indeed going to be just I suppose it could be front wheel steer instead. Why not? We might as well. So no steering at the back, just steering at the front. Yes. We'll see how this performs. That's better. More stability. Although I can't keep crashing it because it's going to explode. Oh, come on, I just need to get there. I should have done this on the first attempt. I am rubbish. There is a bomb or a mine right there. Blades cut through the trees. Blade, you broke. You rubbish blade. Those blades are surprisingly heavy. Well, I think my design is flawed. Just by a little bit. But we are there. We have finally got there. The zone has been conquered. And the time that we took was stupidly long. 39 seconds. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. Because I don't really know what kind of reaction this game is going to get. I absolutely love it. It's addictive. And it's got an overwhelmingly positive response on Steam. Which is just fantastic. Um, I would love to do some more episodes on it. It may well be on Dagwin Extra instead of Dagwin. Just depends how much you love it as well. Thank you for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again very soon in the next video of whatever it may be, probably Farming Simulator. See you then. Bye for now.